Imagine two islands, just a short boat ride apart. On one side, you see tigers and elephants. On the other, kangaroos and cockatoos, how is that possible? Welcome to one of Earth's most mind-blowing natural borders, the Wallace Line. This isn't some human-made border, it's a natural division running through Southeast Asia, separating Asian wildlife from Australian species. And here's the wild part, no land animals cross it, not even birds. On one side, we have elephants, monkeys, and tigers. Just 15 miles away, koalas, kangaroos, and marsupials. Why don't they mix? The answer lies deep underwater. During the Ice Age, sea levels dropped, and many islands were connected by land. Animals walked freely across new territories. But the deep Macassar Strait remained underwater forever separating these two worlds. Even today, birds and mammals rarely cross. Why? Climate, food, and survival instincts keep them in their comfort zones. It's like an invisible barrier they refuse to break. In the 1800s, British naturalist Alfred Wallace noticed something odd. As he traveled through the islands, he saw a dramatic shift in animal species. This led to one of the biggest breakthroughs in evolution. Wallace's observations supported Charles Darwin's theory of natural selection, proving that species evolved based on their environment. So, what happens next? Climate change and habitat destruction could force animals to cross these invisible borders for survival. Will we see new species evolve? Could the Wallace line disappear? What do you think? Should the Wallace line be redrawn? And what's the most mind-blowing fact you learned today? Tell us in the comments.